The 30th annual Mayor's Bean and <laughs> Bean and Cornbread celebration is coming up, and it's more than just about good food. It's about supporting countless families who have been helped by Hospice of Lubbock, and I'm joined by Kyle Phillips, who's going to share his personal journey with Hospice of Lubbock. So thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Uh, Hospice of Lubbock and Beans and Cornbread are very personal to me. Nine years ago, my son Nathan was born. You see his picture here. Mm, and adorable. Um, he was born with a very serious medical condition and it became very clear to us early on that it was it was going to be a rough road and through some through some friends and other people we had met at Covenant already mm -hmm. we got involved with Hospice of Lubbock and got their services and it was such a blessing for us I mean we were extremely overwhelmed new parents had no idea how to care for a baby much right. less a baby with special medical needs and so Hospice took care of us and they gave us so much time. And, and part of what Beans and Cornbread does is it funds their, their unfunded patients. And early on, we were funded. We had insurance, but hospice insurance only lasts for a certain amount of time. And right. then once that's gone, it's gone. And I remember getting a call from the hospice director at that point telling us that, that my insurance had run out and it was just devastating. I had no idea what we were gonna do, mm -hmm. but he said, don't worry we'll take care of all of your costs. Wow. You just spend time with your son. And for us, that was just, it was amazing because it freed up me. I didn't have to worry about getting a second job. My wife could stay home with our boys and we could just focus on that time with him yeah. rather than worrying about cost. Which is so important because, you know, we, t we talk a lot about finances and trying to be financially free, but when you have situations like this come up, Sometimes it's really hard to make up for that, right. right? I mean, we're talking costly amounts here, and a lot of us are just, you know, paycheck to paycheck. So to have uh, an organization to be able to help out a family and really relieve that financial burden is huge. And so I know that hospice is really hoping that people come out to this event to really help them to be able to help more families who go through situations like that. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, we, just as many people as we can get, the more money, the more families that they can continue to help. You know, the, the amount of patients they help every year continues to rise. Mm -hmm. A lot of those unfunded patients. And so it's just so important for those families to be able to focus on their, fam their families during that time and not have to worry about making medical bills. Exactly. Exactly. Well, a good note to this story is that your other son is doing well? He's doing fantastic. Okay, very good. I'm glad that we have a happy ending yes. there. But for those of you who are wanting to join us for beans and cornbread, how can you miss that? I mean, that's just amazing, <laughs> especially with this cold weather. Hospice of Lubbock will host this event Friday, March 1st from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And this is going to be at the Lubbock Civic Center, is that right? That's correct. Okay. And it's $10 a plate. Mm -hmm. uh, the hospice number is there on the screen. And if for some reason you can't make it out, the, uh, call that number. Feel free to make an, a, a donation. Okay. Any amount of money helps. Very good. All right. The information is there. Um, we'll have the link for those donations on our webpage. You can access that there. And coming up after the break, we'll hear about some premier options for your TV services.